friends, we got ourselves a problem, a broody problem. And welcome back to the homestead. So it has been quite a while since I've seen you last in a full video. I've been doing a lot of, of the shorts. So we've got one for you today and these chickens are out of control. So I think I went a little crazy. Definitely call me the crazy chicken lady now. And I've got more coming. So we've got this broody problem. We've got 15 hens that are currently broody. I have tried to break them of the broodiness, but they are not giving. So we have eggs under each and every one of those chickens right now, but my problem is that they keep playing musical nesting boxes and they get out, they go eat, and another hen goes in there or they forget which nesting box they were in and they end up in a totally different one and those eggs end up going cold. So I have to throw them out. And I've been doing this for about a month now. So what are we going to do? Come along with me while I show you what we're going to do to hopefully fix our broody nest problem. All right, friends. So my thought to stop this musical nesting boxes that we got going on here is we're going to take some of the nesting boxes that they already have and we're going to put them into the bigger brooder, well, the older brooder that we have here in the big barn. That way I can let the mamas stay together and I don't have to worry about them jumping into a nesting box that is empty and doesn't have the fertilized eggs in it. This way I'll know they'll at least be jumping around in the same nesting boxes and fertilized, keeping those fertilized eggs warm long enough to hatch them out. So this is the brooder that we're going to go ahead and put some of the nesting boxes in. I need to get it cleaned out because I just took out a bunch of babies that are now old enough to roam around with the bigger birds. I just let them out. So this will become the new brooder for probably for 10 of those boxes. And then hubby is going, hubby and I are going to go pick up an old brooder that we had and we're going to bring it over here to this side to put the other mamas in. So let's get to work. found three surprise eggs that my ladies hatched up on top of the baby's brooder so I'm gonna go ahead and water bath these and see if they're any good if not I'll just give them to the chickens or even the pig all right so I've got that already hubby is currently making a few more nesting boxes and we're gonna go ahead and put the nesting boxes in here get them ready and then bring our hens that are 100% broody over to this next nesting box. We can close this door and then on the outside there is a fenced area where they can go out and eat and then come back in and make sure that they stay with their, their babies or the eggs and I don't have to worry about them playing musical nesting boxes anymore and hopefully get some baby chicks hatched from these 15 broody mamas. 
So I just went over to talk to Hubby and see how he was doing with making some more nesting boxes and he told me that we are out of material so we'd have to drive to Lowe's to go ahead and make the remainder of our nesting boxes. Let me show you what we've made in the past and what it looks like. This is our style that Hubby made of the nesting boxes that the girls really do like. I'm hoping that they will use the other nesting boxes just as much as they use these ones. These are nice, they are really good looking, but they are more expensive and a lot harder to make. The other ones are a lot cheaper and easy. And for me, easier to clean out because if I need to clean out the nesting boxes, because as you see, we have one broken egg in there. If that happens to, which does a lot to the nesting boxes, I can just wipe those out, spray them down, and clean them a lot easier than I can these wooden nesting boxes. Here is our five gallon bucket. And what he did is he cut the top part off of it and we took a lid, cut that lid in half and put it on here. And now we have this awesome nesting box. So we're gonna go ahead and mound it on the inside to the wall and it will stake up and we'll fill it with shavings and it will be ready for the hens. So we're gonna go ahead and install these in that area and see how they look and how many more we need to buy because we only had three, uh, three five gallon buckets on hand and we'll definitely need to go buy some more. But this right here only cost us $5 and it took us less than 30 seconds to make. Pretty good, definitely a better idea than doing the boxes I made out of wood and that took a lot longer. So in here is where I'm gonna be putting them. In order to put some along this wall right here, I need some ply board put up there. So Hubby is looking for some board that he can attach to here and over there so that way I can attach the nesting boxes to that board from the inside. Cause right here, this is just mesh and it's not gonna work going through the mesh right now. Alright friends, so we're going to head over to Tractor Supply and pick up a few more of those five gallon buckets so that we can make a few more nesting boxes to put into this brooder. But let me first show you our Cornish Cross meat bird that we've had for over four months. He runs around, he thinks he's one of the big chicken, one of the regular chickens, and he eats like normal, runs around like normal. He actually jumps up and roosts up high and gets down every morning. Let me show you how he looks. You could probably spot him in this group of chickens that I have right here. The story with him is that these chickens that he's with right now, he actually, I actually picked up at Tractor Supply. They had a, a bunch that were just too old and that one left as a Cornish cross. And I didn't know it was a Cornish cross. I just thought it was maybe a leghorn because he was a little bit bigger, but not much bigger than the other chickens. So I was like, I'll go ahead and take them all. So I did. And he turns out he is a Cornish cross rooster. And we're gonna go ahead and keep him and we're gonna experiment with our other Cornish cross that we have. We're probably gonna pick out three females that we have and see if we can get them to breed and lay some eggs for us. And we'll incubate them and see if we can produce our own Cornish cross meat birds. I got Jared, Princess, and Little Boy. They like going for rides in the side by side with me. So here's our buckets. We just went ahead and cut this and you take that, snap it onto the bottom and this way all your nesting material doesn't come flying out and your hens can go in here and lay their eggs. 
we're just gonna go ahead and screw it the bottom into the wall like this and see how our ladies like it. All right, so I've got all of the nesting boxes done and I stepped out to, buy, to get another charger for the battery of the camera and when I came back, there was a hen already in there. So I think it's gonna be a win. Now we just need to see if our broody hens will stay in there once I put them in there because they're a little bit more finicky. So let me go ahead and let's start grabbing those hens and bring them in here and see if they stay. All right, friends, so as for the broody mamas, that was a fail. They did not want to go into that nesting box at all. They wanted nothing to do with being inside that brooder box at all. They jumped right out, they were screaming. We closed the door to see if they would stay in there and settle down, did not, they screamed the whole time. So we went ahead and just pulled all the mamas out. They're back inside the nesting boxes here inside the big barn. But as far as these nesting boxes go, the non-broody hens seemed very interested in it and we do needed we did need more nesting boxes here for to accommodate all the ladies that i have that are laying so hopefully they will like these right here we'll give it tonight and tomorrow and see if maybe we get some ladies to lay in there if we do then it's a success if not we'll have to go back to the drawing board and actually go back to making our big box nesting boxes out of wood because these girls are bougie and they don't like change. So we'll find out tomorrow if this was a success or a fail for at least our laying hens. All right, friends, drop down in the comments and let me know if you deal with broody hens and what you do to keep them from jumping boxes and leaving their eggs and sitting in other boxes because I am plumb out of ideas. I cannot think of anything else that I can do for these broody hens. I'm about ready to just go ahead and take all the eggs away from them and throw them in the small coop at night and try to break them again of their broodiness. So let me know in the comments, friends. Came into the garage to get the side by side. Look what I found. What you doing, sir? Are you the new mower? Coachard. Must be cool in here or something or right in that spot because that's the second day in a row I found him right there. Crazy dog. All right, friends. So it is the next morning. We are going to head over to the barn and check and see if any of these hens have used those nesting boxes that we put up yesterday. Fingers crossed that they did. If not, back to the drawing board. Well, we already know back to the drawing board with the broody mamas, but uh, that means we'll have to spend extra money and go buy more wood to make the bougie nesting boxes for these chickens. Let's see. See what I mean? Here is a fertilized egg that I marked that I put in there and they have walked away from it and it's cold. Well, it looks like one, three, four. We've got four eggs in here, so they are using them. We will go ahead and leave them for the girls to continue using. Only one of the nesting boxes they use, but this one feels like they were in there sitting because they've made a hole in it, so we'll see. We'll keep this up for a few more days and continue to see if they use them or not. See, this is another nesting box that should have a fertilized egg in it. There was a cracked egg in it, and I think that was the one that was the fertilized egg because I'm not seeing the other ones. All right, friends, thanks for hanging up hanging out with us today as we got those nesting boxes taken care of. Unfortunately, the brooder box did not work out, so back to the drawing board for the brooders, but I don't know. 
let me know in the comments what you think I can do about the broody mamas. I take any of those comments and any help I can get right now because I am struggling. So until next time, friends, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.